Okay. Uh, we got Salento versus Real Man. Oh shoot! This is this is what I'm talking about. Real Man God. Real Man playing. I like I like watching him play. Yeah. Yeah. He's so stone faced and uh, he's like ruthless. And then and then the best part is, for some unknown reason, he just starts like bursting out laughing mm -hmm. at unknown timings. <laughs> unknown timings. It's like it's like sometimes like you know you you know you play. For example, you play a, a card that is obviously like chance dependent, and it's like you know it doesn't work out for you. Yeah. You know you kind of like laugh. Real man just laughs in I the see. middle of nothing. You know, it's like the stream transitioning, <laughs> laughing. You know, I don't I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm. Oh, I see a rainbow deck. Oh shit! This is a rainbow deck. Whose deck is this? This is Solento. Solento. Okay. Uh, he's Colento's brother. Okay. He's not Kalento. I'm just making that up. But right, you, you can sit back here. Right. I am liking Real Man's deck a lot. All right. I have not seen what Salento is working with. Why do you like Real Man's deck so much? Let's take it. It is. Look at that. Okay. First of all, it's very aggressive. You're playing like constructive rep like aggro. Yeah. And then there's a time triumph. Time triumph. <laughs> and got a steam, steam cannon. Dude. dude, look 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 at his look at his card value. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Everything's good. Good, good, good. This is like decent. I wouldn't say it's like. You amazing. have three red hero. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. This is good. This is good. It's okay. It's yeah. Good. It's good. Also, I I love playing smash the defenses in in draft because everyone has improvements in the deck, but yeah. you, you end up not being in play because you don't have enough red. This is like the few times you can. Yeah. You can have a red in every lane if you want. Yeah, like his entire deck is just good. Right. Like Grazing his, shots a bit. His weakest cards are like Poison Strike. Yeah, but they're one mana cards. They're one right? mana cards, yeah. No, this is yeah, this is good. I like and it. then you got a Rainbow deck. I I find very difficult to value Rainbow decks. Well, okay, so let's take a look at his, the value of his cards. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Alright, so green with Farvin, Roseleaf, Soul of Spring, Selfish Cleric, Arm the Rebellion, Mist, okay. Two Rumus. Okay, his is green, is, green? His green is. His green is fucking. It's is super worth. Yeah. Yeah, very well, nice. One one green hero for a soul spring. Is that's that okay. That's not. Th this is actually. It's okay. It's okay, but it's I think not the, the turn game. that you play it, it still gets a lot of value. Yeah. Okay, and then we look at ogre. Ogre already very good. Yeah. Friendly right. fire, thunderstorm. Friendly yeah. fire, thunderstorm, foresight, dimensional that's portal. Good. That's good. Yeah, this is good. Blue is good, and then you have red, ogre, Smeevil, clear, legion, standard bear, bronze legionnaire. Eh, it's okay. Red. Red is kind of weak, but eh. like his cards aren't bad. Yeah, it's okay. Bad. And then black, he has two of them. Uh, pick off, hip fire, gank. You know the signatures. A lot of gold. So black. It's okay. His black is like. They're like they're good, but they're like not very high impact. Right. Yeah. So I mean, you know, his deck is actually. Well, check his item deck because that depends. Dominator. Black, right? Yeah. So I guess it's item okay. Deck, yeah. yeah, it's okay. You got three gold mines. Okay. This is this is actually not bad. This is just gonna be like This is gonna be like the hardest to play. Here's the thing. I will play this deck if it's one best of three and I get to redraft again. Would you play this deck in the top sixteen and no. you can never redraft again? I it's like you just need one bad game, right? Yeah. Or one bad series. Yeah. Yeah. Well we'll see how it Take turns out. Take a fight. Get him. Get him. Pick a fight should be three mana. Mm -hmm. You can pick any target for taunt and any target for re redirection. Okay. <laughs> Seems a little strong, but okay. <laughs> it's not strong. <laughs> so you imagine if it was three mana, you could taunt here and then redirect here. So it's like a it's like a ventriloquy plus a battlefield control. Yeah, yeah. On separate targets. On separate targets. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the Iron Four Gold Mine. Respect. Respect, but he could have played it in the first lane, because he just spent mana. Well, he's thinking like, okay, in order for him to smash, he would have to deploy a red hero. You don't think the red hero is gonna come in or what? <laughs> it's like red hero is definitely coming in. You never know. You might be looking at this and it's like, uh, you know what? I, I I should just, I put a ladder here. He might just go over here. You know. It really does not matter where the gold mine is unless you have paydays. That's true. Because then getting the goal earlier is better for Payday. And I don't think he has Payday in the deck. He doesn't. 
He does? He doesn't. Okay. He only has three gold mines. All right, fitty fitty ogre. Ooh. Got him. <laughs> fitty fitty. Got him. All right, Ignite at least gets to get played. This is the perfect bristleback. Just sitting in the first lane sniping heroes. Yeah. And I mean, he 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 has nothing, like he, no no cunning. Actually, yeah, because he's because he's splashing. Yeah. His blue has no he's saves. He's only playing like the good value stuff. Yeah. He actually had nothing in blue to save. Well, so. on the bright side, with Ogre dying here, he comes back on Thunderstorm, man. Okay. And you could put put him anywhere to Thunderstorm. Yeah. Okay, Ignite's gonna be really nice over here. No green cards in hand. Four armor. Only red cards in hand. Does it do anything in the last time? Let's take a look. It does not. So clear the deck, probably the best thing you can do in the last lane if you want to clear it out completely. Mm. Pololo! I mean, he's just going to play clear the deck, right? Because making standard Legion Bearer doesn't do anything here. Oh. Well, he there's, can pass a, there's, there's, a, there's a cloak. Yeah, that's the thing. He can pass too. Because if he clears here, like I mentioned, being the bad player that I am, he's going to get wrecked by the cloak. You're good sometimes. I'm only good if I try. I'm not trying. <laughs> so he does play Palolo. So Cloak doesn't need to be committed. Ooh, so close. Do you buy Bracer of Sacrifice? He's thinking about it. Also, do not buy the Teleport Scroll. I would not. You know... I would Are you thinking it's a four color? Deck? Yeah, normally, normally <laughs> I'd agree with you, but I'd have I'd second guess myself because like, if I'm playing a rainbow deck. I might actually pick up the TP. You know, TP is only for bad players. Just don't deploy wrong. <laughs> that's that's what Bruno <laughs> told me, dude. Blink daggers for bad players too. Yeah. <laughs> Just deploy correctly. Look, Stormlight had a blink, lost the game. What, what can you say about that? <laughs> oh, he did not have a blink, won the game. It's true. But he did have like three TPs. <laughs> yeah, like five <laughs> TPs or something. <laughs> All right, initiative. Oh, fitty fitty. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it makes you wonder. <laughs> Is this truly fifty fifty? Yeah, truly fifty fifty. Does Bristleback have a secret passive? He has nothing in hand. Bristleback's secret passive is called Magnet. Yeah. <laughs> Draw heroes to me. Dude, he's gonna cloak. Oh my god. I have never seen. Three turns. Yeah. Six armor. Three turns. Wait till he draws TOT. And then you're gonna get even more armor. Rainbow deck. No lodestone. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to play the best card of all the color. Yeah. Where's your lodestone? <laughs> Alright, Rumusk. He could. No, he can't no, do he anything. Can. You cannot yeah. save him. Literally everything will still get you killed. How's that Debbie dying in the last lane? Is he getting arrow? Oh, he's getting Pololo. He's getting Pololo. Look at that. Yeah. He's got a hit fire. It's an honor yeah, to fight. fight by your side, my cop. It's an honor to fight Dude, by Rainbow your side. deck is... This is what I call Rainbow Do Nothing. Is what's happening right now. <laughs> Rainbow Do Nothing. You think he hit fires the like creep in front? Or yeah, you hit fire the creep. You hit fire the creep. For sure. You hit fire this creep. Nothing changes, except for the fact that you're doing 11 damage. And Pololo, and Pololo will die next turn. And if he doesn't die, you have still have no accident. Yeah, but then you're using two cards. Oh, he really wants an HOD. Uh, he's buying down, he's buying down. Bracers, do it. You have Rainbow, man. You need a way to get out. True. <laughs> it's like a TP scroll. I don't know why it's called Bracers of Sacrifice. It should be called Bracers of Teleport. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Why did they change the old name? Uh, it's Techie's uh, vest or something. Yes. Right? Well, they didn't. They didn't like the. The. Uh, the, the the Techies or what? Well, it's a suicide vest, right? Yeah, but it's not. It doesn't have the word suicide on it. Well, it's it's implied. Okay. Right, because I mean, it, I mean, obviously it's implied, right? Because that's what it does. Yes. Yeah. So they didn't like the. Uh, what's the word for it? Like, it's not like PG. It's not like 
PR it might, friendly? It might be found offensive, yeah, that I kind see. of thing. Yeah. Man, those fucking SJWs wrote that one article on, what is it, Crack the Whip? No. Okay, so here's a, here's a, here's a funny thing. No one actually said anything about it. Yeah. It's Valve themselves that realized, wait a second, this might have some negative connotations. No, there was definitely a Reddit thread about it. Was there? Somebody wrote an I'm article. pretty sure that they made the change first. I then, then someone on Kotaku was like, oh, Valve made this change because they realized their mistake or something. And they were like, all high and mighty and shit, you know. Is it Kotaku again? I mean... Oh, wait. Nah, dude, he's got, he's Are got we? healing. He's got healing. He's, no, no, I'm just saying. He's probably thinking to himself, I, I've done it. I've, he's like, I've, I finally overcome the... Uh, but, but Ursa, Ursa gonna remove two armor. Or one armor, though. Got him. Dude, they have seven armor. The fighting instinct armor. <laughs> oh my god. I'm surprised he actually even cast fighting instinct. Why didn't he just play the Tox armor bird, dude? Yo, this is the dream assembled. Blade of the visual Ursa. You're right. Still getting dunked on, though, but the dream assembled. Oh, you know what he can do? He could have healing salve the creep, right? Yeah. Face boot over. And then blame the visual. Oh. Get that minus armor through. Yeah. Actually, know. can you apply minus armor if you're not damaging them? Oh, you're right. Yeah. It has to do damage. Because it specifically. Did you actually have to do damage? Yes. It specifically says when Ursa deals dam battle damage right. to a unit. And battle damage means it has to go through more. It has to be higher than zero. Right. So, if you go go back to the previous screen, what I was saying is that if Ursa was on the left and he's trying to cleave onto Bristleback, yeah, Bristleback would block all of the cleave damage, and he also would not take the fairy swing. Yeah. Okay. He's going to pass. Uh, I think the reason why he didn't want to play Ogre Conscript is probably because he wants it here. He probably wants it here because he's going to um, pursuit out, perhaps. Like no accident and then pursuit out. Then you play the armor burr middle, right? Because you don't have the mana to do everything. Yeah, that's true. But he's not doing it. He is not doing it. I mean, maybe he plays it now. Because if you play it now, you can... Uh, Assassin's Veil? Assassin's Veil and kill the ogre if you really want it. Yeah. I mean, I think he could also just chill. He has Steam Cannon coming up next turn. Yeah. For the glory of okay. This is going to be good, uh, good friendly fire stuff next turn. It'll kill the... Well, it doesn't kill... Oh, actually, no, it does kill everything because of the Ignite. Okay, no accident. And then I think he will really relentless out. But no. Dude, this Debbie, man, three armor. Stonehall plate. Feels five good. Five gold now, right? Yeah, five gold. It feels good. Yeah. I mean, even at six gold, it felt pretty okay when you when you can develop it like this. Mm -hmm. On a hero like Debbie or Prelix, you know, those heroes that just have lousy health pools. I mean, the five go is one one hero kill. Six go is not one hero kill. So that's true. Definitely matters. He's looking at that cloak. Fifteen seconds remaining. And it's looking back at him. <laughs> or line mantle. Not cloak of endless carnage. So if Solento has no answer here. He's gonna get steam cannon, and uh, this bristleback is gonna get two more armor. <laughs> uh, he's got cloak. He got self. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Is he gonna kill the bristleback? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> he procked. Oh, you can short sword. Technically, bristleback will die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Have they? Has he done it? I think he has. He doesn't have initiative, so he has to heal first. Okay, so now they're not gonna get uh, no accidented steam cannon. Yeah, steam cannon good. doesn't do anything here. No, it kind of does. Well, so, so, because like if he if he healing salves, he loses all his heroes. What are you talking about, dude? Yeah, but you you trade. Well, here's the thing, right? Steam cannon's gonna fire off at something first. 
And then no. once once it gets fired. No, he's gonna pass. He's gonna pass. Real man, I've seen real man play. He's gonna pass here because he knows that with two items in hand and seven mana, mm -hmm. there's no way he's gonna let these two heroes die. Okay. Yeah. All right. He shot a creep. He's gonna get got. He got got. Right. Oh my god! All of these heroes will live. Oh my god! And the best part, minus one armor minus and minus two one armor. armor. Two armor. Oof. Oof. Hit him harder, dude. Let yeah. him know. Oof. Look at this. Oh, oh. Relentless Pursuit is going to be good. Damn. Let's take a look at these heroes now. Only five armor oh, Only now. five armor. Only 16 health. Only five armor and 16 health. Weak. But this is actually kind of significant. Is it, though? I think so. Has the Rainbow Deck done it? No, there's still a Steam Cannon on the board. Yeah, the Steam Cannon is very painful. Friendly Fire uh, is actually probably not the best idea. Why not? Uh, it kills Keef. You take 7, but there's no hero. And uh, you have Spring Run in hand. Okay, alright. All right, I like right. Friendly Firing and pushing 7 yourself. You gotta win sometime. It's true, it's true. Okay, no, you're right, you're right. I like it. And critically, you're a 5, not 4, so the Glody range is... Or glow, you're out of the Glody Vanna range. Get him. Not very impressive. Dun. Look at this monster. Okay. He has spring a trap. Or sorry, he has a relentless pursuit and no accident. So technically both those heroes are in kill range. Yeah. He needs to find a potion. However, he has he he has three heroes dead right now. So you know how uh, in Dota 2... Wait, you know, we're... The crazy thing I just realized is we're talking about all these other lanes. Yeah. Real Man has actually taken this lane. Basically has won this lane. Yeah. And middle lane has five health. Yeah. And he has a spring... He and has he, a, a cannon. And he has a cannon. Yeah. Dude, what happened to this game? I didn't even realize, like, this is how far ahead he was. <laughs> what do you mean? He's playing triple red, two black. I said... This is, this just is, look at the bristle, but how do you think he's not far ahead? Yeah, this, just is, look this, is, this is so brutal. This is beyond brutal. Yes. Like, he has no accident in hand. He has a steam cannon, too. Like, right, no so, potion. No potion. You know, the, the funny thing is, uh, in, in Dota 2, waveform, when Morphling waveform, he could attack, right? Yeah. Or there's a talent that you could get. We could attack during waveform. During waveform, yeah. yeah. Or, no, it's not attack during waveform. It's waveform... Or applies in auto attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking, man, what if during relentless pursuit you could just drop that hammer from Noax and around right Debbie's head as you fly in? <laughs> Some fucking ninja movie shit right there. Black now has the ability or relentless pursuit has the ability to chain one card. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. So relentless or no accident. Alright, what is he gonna shoot? I know how to use this. I think he'd be looking at mid lane, right? I think you're shoot the you're, creep. you're gonna keep shooting these creeps. Oh yeah, this'll oh, shoot everything. Shoot everything. Oh. Somebody call the NRA. Oh. Oh, okay. I mean I, I mean, it's fine, you know? It's fine. Surprised that he did not go for the lethal. Though. You know, good enough. He's not gonna go for this lane anymore. Well, I mean, that was free. Like you could have just killed Well, he's he he doesn't know he's gonna assume that his opponent has something to block with. What, you, what if he doesn't? That was a win. I'm very surprised. Wait, what do you mean? There's a rose. Well, no, no. I'm saying he doesn't know that. Real man. Real man could shoot the creep and his oh. his ogre technically wins. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying, though. He's he's not doing it because he assumes that there is something in him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it's very likely, right? You're, it's, a, it's a green and a blue in here. Although, I don't think the blue has anything. Does blue have anything? No, the blue has nothing. Blue has nothing. Oh, we don't want deep portal. One D portal and the green has a lot, right? Green has uh, three prowler vanguards, self declared. Dude, it's a rainbow deck, dude. <laughs> Sometimes you don't just have the cards. All right, looks like the first. I think he, what he's thinking is that the first lane is really going to be the lane that he's contesting for. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's got the steam cannon here. Like, look, look at how strong these. Ready units for the are. TLT top deck. I'm ready for the TLT top deck. 
Real mad. Real top deck. Did get it. Oh, also, oh, also lock. <laughs> Someone said he doesn't need bracers because Bristle is sending all of his heroes to the fountain <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Definitely true. That is so funny. How a how is a fifteen how Keith just dying? Well, he's getting cleave for three, and he's getting hit for twelve, so it's exactly fifteen. Thank you for that one. <laughs> uh, this today. I see. Dude, he can just no orders past the hero. <laughs> X, uh, clear the deck. Clear the deck. Is dead. Everything is dead. Everything is wrecked. You have one healing self. You could save. Yeah. Save for what? <laughs> it's like right on the fucking board. Well, doubling knight to the left seems good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the damage is if he double ignites. Two kills. Oof. Yeah. Cut off black. And he's got heroes coming back. Just one. Only one. And one of them is gonna get smashed immediately. You know, Rainbow Deck, despite losing like 18 heroes up front, not doing bad. Oh, oh didn't manage the Hemel Dominator. Got bracers of teleporting, though. You could literally teleport one of his heroes out on the middle lane. Bracers of Fountain Return. Six health with Assault Ladder. Can he do it? Alright, I think that's game over. Well, let's see what he draws. Alright, let's get one. No creeps. No, let's get one. Well, you can no accent uh, the creep creep. <laughs> He's not even gonna listen to me. I yeah. don't know why, but whenever I play against some new players on the ladder, and they will play no accent on my three armor hero, like Mazzy or something, Yeah. I just find that, like, incredibly funny. Yeah, it is funny. <laughs> it's just like, what are you doing, bro? They're learning! And then the it's, it's funny because you're just thinking in their head is like ah, he's gonna learn. <laughs> he has no, now learned. No, the immediate move after that is just concede. I'm just like, oh, come on, dude. dude. That's the that's the concede of shame. Yeah. You make a play like that and you're like ah, oh, shit, I, I can't continue. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. All right. So lentil turn one missed. Oh, dude, that reminds me of a a time where I was. When, when Life Coach was at the BTS office and we're playing Artifact together. Yeah. So, I don't exactly remember a scenario, but so I'm going to just describe it as closely as po possible. Uh huh. Um, I think he missed Lethal mm -hmm. by, like, not slaying a target or something. Okay. And then he slayed a different target afterwards, realizing that after having missing Lethal. Okay. Nice storytelling, bro. Fuck, man. <laughs> oh. right, 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 No, 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 no. I got it, I got it. So he missed Lethal by not slaying. Okay. And then later on, he would have got a very high value slay. Yeah. Like, he would have killed a Thunder High Pack or something by slaying. But he chose not to slay. I was like, why are you not slaying? He's like, well, I can't let my opponent know that I fucked up. It's a sense of pride, you know? Ah... I'm just like, that's the funniest shit ever for a life coach. You can't show him that you fucked up. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that mindset. It's very important. We were winning the game very hard, so it didn't really matter at all. But... Man, you're right. I'm a, I'm a terrible storyteller. It's okay. In due time, it'll come to you. Hey, remember when I say that sometimes they don't have creeps? Yeah. All right, calm there you down. go. There you go. Calm down. It's turn two. You're only taking twelve. It's not that big. You're <laughs> only taking twelve. Just twelve. Oh my god. 
There is also a uh, miss in the lane. Ooh. Sounds good to me. Look at look at look at this improvement lane. So I think Real Man did that because uh, Sucker Punch is gonna wreck him next turn, or Rolling Death. Yeah, or Rolling Death. Rolling Death probably even. Actually, that one armor makes it bad. Rolling Death helps out creeps, I guess. You have none though. I have some imaginary friends. Don't 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 judge them. Sort of less like, I got friends next to me. You can Whirling Death and Grazing Shot if you really, really wanted to. And that is no accident. Wait, he's not even in range. What am I saying? Not even close. You could gank. I could track. I could track. Let's show them what we can do. Sounds good to me. I actually think uh, clear the deck might actually be the best thing here. If you clear the deck here, right, you put you kill everything except for Ogre, you put on one life, and you can just grazing him. You get upkeep kill though. That's true. But at least uh Everyone dies together. Yeah. Could play Assassin's Apprentice here. Then you'll have, right. you'll have. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. No, so you're on the left. Yeah. You play on the left. You hit for three. Yeah. So now this is where he. Uh... No. Yes. There no. you go. Yes. No. Yes. Why, why do you do that? Yeah. You're grazing here. See, and he oh. trades everything. Oh, I thought he had a new order in hand. No, that's not a new order. So you're grazing here. And uh, everything dies except for the one assassin's apprentice. Mm -hmm. I see. This game started out much better uh, for Solento. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't get six zero kills on the first lane. <laughs> Bristle doesn't start the game with six armor in three turns. In fact, he has zero. No accident seems good. I think no accident for 11 damage. Why'd he do that? I guess he's respecting the item in hand. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Would you poise here? No. I think I would poise. That's like when somebody lightning strike the tower. When it was like a like 36 HPS or I'm like, what are you doing? Sending a message. Sending a message. Hey, yeah. 36 to 30. That's 25% uh, of the tower gone. God damn, you he's, and your percentage. He's going for it. <laughs> you and your percentage. Dude, it sounds a lot more convincing. 36 to 30 is not 25%. No, but it, what I'm saying is, if it's at 30, it means it's already lost 25%. Okay. You see what I mean? Lightning Strike is just 15%. If it's lost 10, 10 life already, that's 25%, man. That's a quarter. Quarters aren't cheap. For 25 cents, in fact. Oh, easy for damage. Oh, man, next turn he's going to angle for five. That's no joke. That's no joke. That's height. Better gank it. <laughs> Better gank it. <laughs> Wait, he had no accident. Dude, this is the best no accident ever. Get him. What Get does he think about? Pew. Dude, he's owning right now. Yeah, he is. Turns out when you have ignites out and a miss, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right. So you can rolling death here and uh, sucker punch. <laughs> Uh, Thank you, BC, Beast Coast Aosin, for that expert analysis. <laughs> yes, he can do that. Hey, you would have pushed for 10 instead of 7. I, I think I would have put the uh, 
The oct uh, the, the, the tox blade. arm ripper on the right. Oh. Why not just equip blade of the vigil? Oh shit, that's why. Dude, he knew it was coming, man. Oh, there's gonna be an enrage kill, brother. Not anymore. Why Actually, it's still enough. It's a 13th. Yeah. But he's gonna south. <laughs> I don't wanna tell you. That was his face boot out of the lane. Why didn't he enrage, though? He's face booting out of the lane. I don't see. Bracers of teleportation. Yeah, that was the face boots of teleportation. <laughs> Bracers of teleportation. <laughs> but he just gave him one armor. Dude, who cares? You right. Who cares? Who cares? Farvin gonna go left? Hell yeah. You better. Dude, that Assassin's Apprentice is actually no joke. Yeah. It one shots Debbie. She graduated. A princess no more. Yeah, no princess no more, dude. This is this is a sister of the veil. Better. Better. She's the chat of the veil now. <laughs> oh look, look at this. Debbie, get out. See ya. Better gank it real fast. Better dude. gank it. Alright, does he have no accident hit? He does. Dude, you can hip fire hip fire no accident combo this. No, I'm talking if uh Salento does. Salento has hip fire, no accident. Real man oh, also real has yeah. hip fire. Yes. Is he gonna double gun equip, shoot the apprentice one each? There's no way that Salento will let that happen. He's got hip fire and and the gun and the uh, no accident. Like he can freaking wreck him here. What's the difference between game one and game two, apart from Bristleback getting six armor? I, I'm pretty sure, like you said, Mist of Avernus. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, this man. is nice. Dude, she is. Dude, she is. Shadow of the Veil. <laughs> dude, she is really. A, she's a two modest sister of the Veil, man. Better. Yeah. Wait, Ma better. Matriarch of the Veil. Matriarch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, I'm so glad my computer crashed so I could cast from here. <laughs> so much more show. Yeah. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to push the talk either. I don't like. I don't have to like focus on pushing the button. Does that? Dude, it's very tiring. I I know that your IQ is pretty low, so multitasking is difficult. Oh, the gun! Oh my god! It's it, it, this is over. Pack it up. Pack it up. <laughs> Pack it up. This is done. Look at this. Oh man. Ooh. Hit fire real fast when he has minus two armor. <laughs> Get him. Wait, what? Why does that have minus two armor? Oh, you got spit on earlier. Yeah. All right, real man has four mana. He has. Wait, did he? Oh, he shot him. Did he not play steam cannon when he could have played steam cannon? Yes, he could have. I mean, I get it. You're facing a lot of pressure, but. I could do. This. He probably didn't do it because... Uh, I mean, he was facing lethal, that's why. Yeah. Oh, the re-equipping of the gun. Oh, he's going to hit gonna fire He's going to hit fire. Six. Oh, my God. Does he God. know, though? Does he know? Cloak up. Oh! oh. Pack it up. Pack it up. We, we're yeah, done. Pack it up. <laughs> we're done. Pack it up. Shoot him anyways. Shoot him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Re-equip the gun. Oh, my God. That is... Okay. That is not value. Hold up. What if he had another gun? <laughs> A triple gun in the same fucking turn. What if he played with a vigil here? No. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh my Wait, god! He, he has another. He has another veil. Put on the veil. <laughs> oh Jesus! That's a, that's, this is the funniest. That is thing. the funniest. The funniest thing I've seen. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I like it. It's funny. That was a uh, seven gold item. Oh, he got him, dude. No, it was six gold. Col six gold. gold is six gold. Seven gold. See, yeah. Dude, he just spent 19 gold <laughs> for absolutely nothing. Like, actually nothing. Well, actually, to be fair, yeah, it's pretty much for nothing. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Yeah, that I don't know. Nothing. That, that's pretty much for nothing. All right. Oh D portal gives him six. Oh, my God. Pack well, it up. Yeah, pack it up. He's short one damage. Pack it up. Actually, nothing in hand to win this game with. 
He needs to steam cannon and shoot stuff, and then he needs to double deploy mid. He has whirling death, sucker punch. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is yeah. steam cannon into game over. Into shooting Sorlacon. Yeah. I'm out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He sees something. He sees a line of play here. He wants to win. Okay, he technically win before he gets to the second lane. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's not. Let's not. Wait. Let's keep it serious for now. No, this is, no, no, this is, pack it up. <laughs> pack it up. <laughs> He's triple blocked on eight mana. TOT. Oh, you know that's that's actually a, a yeah, still not. TOT when he's a twenty-eight. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Pack it up. <laughs> he packed it up. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Looks when Bristol like, back doesn't get from from the first the first round was like. Real man just handled him. Yeah. And then the second game, real man got handled. Yeah, it's look, sometimes artifact is RNG. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. When you when you don't get the bristleback flop. True, true. Oh man, it's raining. I love it. I love the rain. I oh. loved it when I was uh, a lot younger because I get to sleep in. Yeah. But nowadays, uh in the days of employment I gotta It's it's just a it's just an inconvenience, right? Yes. No, I still like it. Yeah, because you just work at home, dude. That's easy for you. Oh, the tracks. Did Solento do it with the rainbow deck? I can't believe I was cheering for the red black aggro and not the rainbow deck. Yeah. How how have I devolved as a human? Uh, okay. Oh shit, his arch nemesis. <laughs> Ursa is just giving it yeah. to him. Dude, Urs Ursa against Bristol feels so good. He's four away. It's to save. To save. Yeah. Save. Yeah. Don't need to buy that car. You good? Don't need to do shit. Dude, he gets to start the game with Ignite again. This guy is the Ignite Whisperer, man. <laughs> Ignite Whisperer. How do you just get Ignite every time? How does Real Man not have Smash the Defense? Just one copy, but still. This is already the third game. Actually, no, he had one in the first game. Yeah, he had one in the yeah, first right. game. Okay, okay. All right, the odds are there. The question is, where is his TOT? That is true. This is the third game we have yet to see. It. He's gonna draw it now, though. That's how. That's how it works. All right, Solento, just like how you drew it up, you know, want to, just want to come into casting night, and then we'll be able to redeploy for Perfect. thunderstorm. Perfect. This is uh. This is on top tier. It is like it's actually good. Yeah, it is really good. This is where. Where do you want to ignite? Lane uh, one, right? Lane one, yeah. This is where uh, artifacts should allow you to cloak your opponent's heroes, you know? Tactically saving them. Tactically saving them. Yeah. I remember I had a discussion with Kevin um, where he was like, I don't understand, like, you should be able to cloak your opponents if you, I mean, I don't see the downside. And I was like, dude, like, what if they had, like, Horn of the Alpha? Yeah, you, you just cloak it. <laughs> <laughs> that, you, you see the problem now? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> Heart of the Alpha is nerfed to the floor if you can cloak your opponents. <laughs> Hold. I mean... Oh, he bought Blade of the Vigil. Yeah, you have Bristol in your deck. You definitely bought Blade of the Vigil. Oh, shit. Bristol won the fight. He, uh, whirling deft. Feels bad. That was actually a very cheap move. That Look was... at this play, though. You see him hit? He's gonna hit hard. So Lentil has to survive this barrage. This initial like couple turns, he has to survive. I think after that, like it's actually not that bad. Like you said, deploying in for thunderstorm, pretty big. Actually, with the ignite, Sorrel is gonna be like four health. Yeah. Math checks now. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's One that sounds up. so dumb. <laughs> Does it sound dumb? Yeah, exactly. That sounds pretty dumb. Oh, Debbie, right in front of Timbersaw. Takes the arrow as well. That's two armor. Yeah. That's a uh, game over right there. Ooh, look at this. This is the best Blade of the Vigil I've ever seen. Nah, dude. Save it for Ursa. Nah, nah, nah. Don't, don't look. Don't let Bounty cosplay. Just, just let Ursa do it. Nah, nah, nah. Come on, Blade of the Vigil here. You got it. You got it. You got to. 
There we go. There we go. Thank you, Celente. Not worth. Uh, told you. Ah, <laughs> uh, she. No, no, no. He's just setting up for the exact same thunderstorm. I'm ready. <laughs> is, is it really? He's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> this, I mean, this guy is gonna live. This is this is very far off exactly right here. Let me tell you. What he's gonna cloak up. I'll take oh. whatever they throw then at Then how's it hit? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close, dude. Okay. Alright, looks like Real Man is living in mid too. Man, the new Timber Saw. Man. So sick. So sick. Alright, he cloaks up. Can't do anything about this bounty. Oh, he's gonna put the blink dagger on him. Not the short sword. I'm not, I'm kind of surprised about that. He puts on the blink dagger to pressure for two more damage when he has a short sword. Even though he's not going to move. Track? Does he go for it? He's gonna be very sad the moment he sees that healing salve come out. I mean, you see like 18 items in hand. But what are you gonna do, not track? Cause, yeah, cause every other move sound feels really bad. Maybe, maybe you just widen your board here. Sure, get that cream coat. You do both? Could do both. Alright, now, now you just... Maybe no accident the creep? No, you could just angle your assassin. Then. But you want to hit for three. Nah, I think the creep is... Three is 7.5% of the tower, Jesus bro. Jesus Christ, you actually know every all the percentages? No, it's not that I know the percentages. It's that the math is very easy to do. Mm -hmm. Every point is 2.5%. That's it. Oh, shit. Come on, bro. You Asian, too. <laughs> Didn't you graduate in mathematics? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually, what people don't know is when you when you get a math major, you don't do like arithmetic. You yeah, actually you just don't. Do, like, yeah, you do all the all, the, all, the, all, the, all the useless stuff. Basically, all the, yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah, all the useless math. I I I, I actually shit. took college level math in high school, mm -hmm. and uh, as I was taking it, I was like, I can definitely see myself never, never using any of this. Yeah. Does he assault for that time? Yes, he does. Ooh, exact seas over one. Very nice, very nice. That that is some ridiculous amount of damage, but you know, that's a two-turn clock. Red, bl red, black for you. Yeah. Oh shit. Ho. Did he not hold the blink? He did not. In a four-color deck. He did not. You know why? It's because he's good. He's gonna deploy oh, he it correctly. Need it. Yeah, he doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Actually, if you think about it, this is actually a serious statement right now. For a second. Okay. Blink Dagger could be considered as a Aghanim Sanctum, if you want to think about it. Because if you have one color of a certain hero, and you don't have enough mana to cast like 12 I mean, mana, it makes sense if you put it like that, yeah. but not it's, quite as... In, as a, it's not quite less Aghanim Sanctum, yeah. but it's like a like a mana... Yes. Mana buff. replenishing, yes. Yeah. Sort of. So it is really powerful in that sense. That's why it makes Blink even more more powerful than just like I, I, I actually definitely think he should have held blink just for the just for the reason of uh, being the last lane is like an 80 potential right you need to have some way to get over there it's one gold right like it's yeah. like okay if you lose that one gold you feel sad well know. we don't actually know if he did or not though because I wasn't counting maybe he did. I was counting oh he what you are okay and if we see blink again on the side shop it's not because he held because he's he got another one Alright. No thunderstorm. Yet. Is that a red miss small? That is a red miss small. So thunderstorm doesn't do anything here really. It kills off the two creeps. You end up pushing four damage, whatever. I guess if he's gonna heal up here, is there any gank target? Maybe you gank Bristle? Can you kill Timber? You can't kill Timber without dying. Well, you'll die here. So maybe not. Killing Timber is pretty good still, though, right? 
Yeah, because he hasn't done anything. He has done eight damage so far. Your death is inevitable. Okay. So, I think now you might consider playing Thunderstorm. Right. And all of this option feels bad. I think no, I don't think Thunderstorm feels that bad. If you play Thunderstorm here, right? Uh, this Keef is then threatened. I mean, we know he has Fountain Flask, but it is threatened. Uh, this is gonna die to Ignite. I guess you're now amazing, making him choose between which which heroes he's gonna save be on mm -hmm. the self. Yeah. Looking at his hand, it's probably going to be Sorla. He might even blink out. What What if you just blink out to the, uh, to the right side or and then you play way. Disciple? Why don't you just do that? Isn't that like legit? Okay, he's gonna go middle. So Fountain Flask is gonna come out here then. Found the flask, and you probably play the red mess ball here. Yeah. But that last lane is a huge problem. He's gonna dump disciple, and then uh, Debbie has to go to the last lane. Oh, he's gonna save. Him. Okay. Perhaps... I don't like that that much because you have steam cannon in hand. Yeah. I would make a concentrated effort in saving my. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Ogre comes out. Is this where the Remus Small comes out? Maybe. Put it on Timber. It's a little surprising. It's very awkward. Yeah. I feel like he could lose now. Yeah, he, he definitely sudden. can. But Disciple is going to come out here. Alright, Disciple hopefully. This is going to push like 50 something or uh, 48, 45. Close enough. Master X out. He has Slay in hand, so. You know. Yeah, Slay for what? For blockers. There's blockers. Well. Actually, he's never gonna die. Bounty could just gank that disciple. You don't even need to. You can put Debbie and just no accident. You think, you think Debbie's gonna live? Yeah. Have you not seen Salento equip like four guns last game? Come on. <laughs> no, that was real, man. No, that was real, man. Yeah, that was real, man. Okay. No accident? No accident. And then he can gank too. Sure. Or you can go mine. If if you think you can pull off the no accident with just heavy. Cause you if you if you look if you look at real man's hand, right, like what what is actually going to kill him? Nothing. Well not really true. I like the gank <coughs> way more actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, I think this is good. I think with what he has in the last lane right now, he's going to uh, hold, and then he can win next turn. So right now, Ogre Conscript, only thing in hand, uh, but there are phase boots, as well as Enrage. So basically, you can you can Rumusk, and then phase boot Enrage. That's actually really good. Rumusk, phase boot... Or do you? Maybe you just clear everything. Yeah, I think. I think clearing everything is fine too. And you can just save your. Uh, you can just save your phase boots for next turn when you try to go for lethal. Hmm. I like your play more actually. Pushing for more damage. Yeah. I don't know. But maybe not. Like green I... and red doesn't really have reach. So maybe you should be just clearing the board. Cause, cause, yeah. If you leave the creeps like this, like you're you're gonna you're actually gonna get blocked. Like it's very likely you get blocked. This makes it less likely. Obviously. Maybe you phase a. Uh, oh, I like this. Maybe you phase your Farvin to kill the melee creep then. And take four. That seems a little rough. Actually, no. Actually, I I like that too. I think that's actually the best the best thing you can do. Yeah. You just make it so that it's really, really hard for real men. Well, block. the danger for that is you're next to a red hero, so uh, whirling death doesn't whirling death kill. Does it? Kill no. your green. Yes, seven. Oh, okay, never mind. He has he's healing salve and he face. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. steam cannon comes out. So I think the first thing we're gonna see is the no accident. Well, I think he might be tempted to no accident the hero. Oh, that is true. That is true. I'm surprised the lack of cloak. 
Why didn't you cloak Debbie? I actually don't know. That's that's actually such a good point. Because you take away the option to kill your hero. Although, be real man. Maybe real man wants to leave. I didn't see you there. It doesn't it's matter. He killed the other one anyways. Also, All right, twenty nine gold. Oh, he got it. Ooh. That's that's huge. No, we were having a this debate a long time ago, uh, with Steam Cannon. Yeah. Casting in the first lane versus last lane. Mm hmm. Casting the first lane. Gives you so many better options. Yeah, but casting last lane means you have one more use of it. Yeah. I, I don't know which is better. But... Well, he used it to shoot a creep, so. Who knows? Yeah, if he sh if you use it to shoot a creep in the first lane, then. Okay, so this tower is dead. No, it's not dead. It actually lives. Yeah, it lives. Because he's going to kill creeps. He can pick off. Actually, even without doing anything, it doesn't die. The hell of the helps the Dominator is actually not doing that much. Well, it's... It does a decent amount. Oh, dude. I just realized he actually dies here unless he helps the Dominators right here. How does he die, dude? He's a 28. No, no, no. His hero dies. Okay. Hero dying is actually kind of problematic because it's, it's actually... He's not going to take this tower unless Debbie can hit, but two heroes are deploying next turn. Yeah, he's thinking of, like, do I need to play around a four damage spell? Yeah, and he okay. plays, he around, plays four around four damage spell. spell. I mean, he's not even close exactly to taking the tower. Wait. He's not pushing for... He could have pushed for 12. I mean, that seems pretty good, right? He's trading 2 health on his tower for 12 health on his opponent's tower. That seems... questionable. Like, He's gonna kill the hero. You're gonna trade, maybe. He wants to hit for 9. I mean, what what is his option? He, just he can. I mean, he can he can kill Sorla. Well, Definitely want to hit for nine. No, there's three items to two, so it's not even like. That. I'm surprised that real man isn't hitting for twelve. So I, no, I think I think his I no I think his uh his play is. He wants to. Just hold the first lane, because with what he's doing right now, he's holding the first lane. He can win in the last lane instead, right? Look at this. I guess you just baited your opponent to play HOD. Yeah. So. Like. Sure. Like. Now, now he just wins, right? He's gonna play the creep. And that threatens lethal. No. Bracers is that rifles. Uh, Depends on where you play it. He might get greedy and play on the right. No, you definitely play on you the left. You definitely play on the left. Time and I, this actually is just short by one damage. Yeah. It's going to be short by one damage if you play Bracer. No, it's not. He just only blocks two by Bracer. No, he has a ladder. He blocks four. Oh, so he's short by one. Oh, shit. I yeah. did not see the ladder. So he survives with one life. So that's, that's what I mean. Like, real man is just trying to survive in the first lane. And I think he's actually done it. I, I think the fact that he baited Salento to play the HOD was such a big, a big blow off. Yes, that was such a important... HOD move. would have stabilized the right. And yeah, well, just, I don't know about stabilizing the right. I think I it would have helped a lot. It would have helped a lot. Yeah. yeah. And now he's trying to win here. He's not going to be able to. Yeah. He just cannot push. Yeah. There's nothing. So but he's just lost. I feel like this series is a lot closer than it should have been. Now I in fact, I think real man can actually win in this lane. <laughs> he can actually push the damage because he has gun, whirling death, and slay. Yeah. Okay. He's. Out. Damn. That's crazy. That was a very interesting series. You know I like watching Real Man play too? Yeah. He plays really fast. Does he? Yeah, he plays really fast. Is the next one already starting? Isn't it 2-1? Am I crazy? Why does it say 1-1? One, one? Oh, yeah. It's offline. That's why. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a short break, guys, to wait for the next match. And because we are human and we need a break. Yeah. We're going to be back. We'll see you in a bit.